Hi, Rich here. Hopefully um, this works. <laughs> I have no idea what I'm looking at. I can't see me. I wanted to shoot a quick video on a couple of plants that look a lot alike. And some of their uses can overlap. But um, some of it is pretty important to identify. So let's go talk about two plants. We're going to talk about milkweed. Come down here. We're going to talk about dogman. Let's see. Once again, you can feel it. Fairly big fuzzy leaves. Shaped like a spear. Close together. And mainly a green stem. Here we have milkweed. I'm going to try and zoom this in. You can see these leaves. They're lightly hairy. And the vein. We have this green stem going to reddish. And it's kind of thick. Look at how the leaves alternate. <clears throat> They're pretty um, close together. So you don't get a long run between leaves. Now one of the things we all know about milkweed is that if you break it, it'll bleed latex sap. So, so again, milkweed has these fuzzy leaves, you know, thicker than a pencil stalks, and uh, the bleed latex. Now, <clears throat> it can be used to make cordage, which you can see, when I try and peel it, it's not gonna do much good right now. If I'm gonna use milkweed for cordage, I wanna wait until after it's dead and dry. You're thinking once again, here he is back showing us milkweed. So, first let me show you something. Look at this pod. This is not a milkweed pod. This is the pod of dogmane. You saw me make a, uh, a candle wick out of it, or a lamp wick. And we'll get back to that. I'll put that in here. Look at these two seed pods, and we will show you a couple of things. my hand around it. crack, crack it, look in there, look at the fluff, so that, you know, I can fluff it and make a really good um, starter for my fires. Now, <clears throat> the wind is trying to keep it from burning well. So, here we have what looks like milkweed. But now if you'll notice, look how red the stems are. It's also much thinner. The leaves are not broad. And they have maybe a slight fuzziness to the top. The bottom doesn't have much. If I break the thing, Again, you'll see it's going to bleed with latex. Okay. This is not some thing for milkweed. This is dogbane. I want to grab this one. And I'm doing this while holding, using my phone to tape it. Now, remember how I couldn't do much with the milkweed. This is why I just pulled off the dog bag. Right now, I'm pulling hard and it doesn't break easy. That broke where a leaf was. This is cordage strength. This is dog band. So 
Move on and start twisting. Then we can get my reverse ply. We can make this into cordage. But I wanted to show you the difference between milkweed and dogbane. To show you the difference between milkweed and dogbane, I've got a lot more left on this particular dog mane. Remember the dog mane is toxic, I'm not gonna eat it. If I can split this down, I get more and I can make good cordage. And if you look around here, when you find dog mane, it grows in abundance generally. And where I've got dog mane, I've got strong cordage. May not be as good as yucca, but it's getting there. Okay, hi, this is Clint. I'm asking him to take, this is the dog bane I just twisted up into cordage, so I'm gonna ask him to hold down here and up here. And Clint's a fairly strong guy. I wanna see if he can pull it apart. I won't guess that that's a pretty good no. Yeah, yeah, there's no way. <laughs> you can have it if you want. Thanks. But thank you, Clint. Yeah, you're welcome.